As ESG reporting moves from being voluntary to mandatory, the entire surrounding process needs to be more robust. I'm Nora Tayef, partner and ESG reporting leader at Deloitte Canada and the deputy global ANA sustainability and climate services leader. The finance function plays a key role in ESG reporting. For me, there are three key reasons why. The first is that the commitments, the estimates and assumptions we're making around ESG often have a direct financial statement impact. For instance, commitments we make around decarbonization affect the cash flows of the business, which are then inputs to things like impairment calculations. For that reason, we're starting to see securities regulators focus more and more on reconciling between what's disclosed for ESG purposes and financial reporting. The second is that today, stakeholders expect quantifiable ESG targets, transparent analysis, and measurable progress. Companies that can create accountability with their stakeholders will be more viable and valuable in the long term. The third is that a lot of the things, for example, systems, controls, processes, and governance infrastructures that we need in order to produce reporting already exist within finance. While they won't be identical or perfect, there's a lot that can give us a head start, especially if we're trying to move quickly or need to. The punchline here is that financial and ESG performance no longer exist in parallel and in silos from one another. From now on, sustainable value creation is driven and measured by both together.